Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're taking a look at a recent release from Kotobukiya's Frame Arms Girl line. This is the Hersfelger Bikini Armor version, and I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. I actually have the original version of this, but I haven't built and haven't reviewed it yet, uh, so I need to get around to doing that. But this is the Bikini Armor version of the Hersfelger. Anyway, so it is obviously a, uh, just a very slim uh, version of the Hersfelger. It doesn't really have all the extra weapons and armaments and armor and all of that. It's just a different version of that. So later on, when I can, I'll get to building the original one and we'll take a look at a comparison between the two of them. But in the meantime, let's take a look at this one because it's new. So as for the box right here, it's just a standard Frame Arms Girl box here. We have some nice text on the side and then the main illustration right there on the front. On the end of the box here, just a cropped illustration there of her head. Just the title, everything on there, all the logos, the Frame Arms Girl logo and all that. Over here on the side, just to look at what the figure is going to look like, front and back. So as far as weapons, basically just comes with these two swords there, it looks like. Otherwise, just going to be relatively simple in terms of what it comes with. Some different options for the hair, it looks like. One just kind of regular bangs, one covering one eye, one covering the opposite eye. So it looks like you do have some options there for the hair as well, if you want to mess with that. Um, here it is showing displayed with uh, the MSG weapons parts. I forget exactly what this weapon set is called, but I did recently get that weapon set, so if you guys would like to see that uh, kind of included in the review, it's a separate thing, but if you want to see that in the review, maybe let me know. I'll try to use that just for just some posing options in the review, even though it's not included with this particular kit. And then here's a look at what the kit is going to look like just straight out of the box. So as you can see, it is going to look I mean, pretty good. It's not really missing all that much in terms of color ups, just these tiny little details, things like that are going to be missing, but I believe this does come with some water slides. Let's take a look around here on the other side. It does, but as you can see here, very minimal in terms of the water slides, just eyes and then a couple little V markings there, which go, looks like probably here, are these bits on the shoulders and that's it. So it's a shame that we don't have the rest of these little orange markings around on here as some more water slide decals, so you will just have to paint those in. But again, you can see the options here for the face. Aside from the different hair options, you do have different face options as well. It looks like a sort of standard kind of looking kind of determined face a little bit sad face and a little bit happy face you have a nice range of emotions there for this list price for this is 4800 yen don't remember what the list price for the regular version of the Hearst Velger kit is but I want to say it's probably somewhere more around 7 or 7800 yen so it's definitely going to be a bit more because obviously it comes with a lot more this one being relatively simple it's going to be a little bit more on the cheaper end but still not as cheap as certain things like the architects or the materia or innocentia something like that so just going to have some nice purple and black kind of parts for the armor and then all of our skin tone parts in there as well it's so got plenty of those and then down here we've got our face option parts there our hand option parts the water slide decals and the manual so let's take a look at the manual first before we get around to the rest of that stuff here so the same look as what's on the front of the box and just the Frame Arms Girl logo there on the back. Opening it up to the front page here, we've got some more photos, just so you can see some different posing options there. Once again, using the, I think it's like water weapons or something like that, as the name of that water, of that uh, weapon set. But it's pretty cool how one of the options is like meant to look like an uh, airbrush there. It's pretty interesting. So anyway, there's basically some nice photographs of that. Here's a photograph of, or an illustration of the Frame Arms Hesfelger, which this is uh, based off of. And then the parts list here, again, those darkened areas will be parts that we won't use for this. But just while we're on the topic, I noticed this as I was quickly flipping through the runners earlier. That B runner, where you can see we have those parts that off, that's uh, skin tone parts for the main part of the abdomen and chest. So we'll see all the runners again in, the mo in a moment. But anyway, the construction here, just going to go through all of that as normal skip through that here to the back is just uh, equipment options here for how to mount some of that stuff how to change the faces and things like that and then back in the back a couple more photographs of the kit front and back just for reference and the painting guide on there as well so if you want to match the colors you can check that out it's all in Japanese but a quick translation shouldn't be too hard all right let's take a look at the runners all right so once again here's a look at those water slide decals just the three different options for the eyes and then the four little v's for the side of the shoulders there and a kind of dull orange really not all that bright also kind of wish that that maybe would have been a little bit brighter color of orange for those we have a flesh tone runner here of pc polycap parts and then our hand options here i'm all molded on the single tree we got open expressive hands open resting hands closed fists trigger finger hands and weapon holding hands and once again those face options there is the happy face 
There is the little bit sad face, and there's the kind of determined face, we'll call that. So all, all in all, the face options look really nice. Of course, the pre-painting on those is very good, as usual, with Korbuki. And then we have a couple of pre-painted parts here. I think these are parts around on the waist section. As you can see, there's a little bit of pre-painting. They're kind of molded in that dark brownish color with a little bit of, it looks like, skin tone painted there in between for those. Runner A here is some skin tone parts, including a blank face there if you wanted to use the waterside decals to make an extra face. You got that, but it doesn't really have a mouth or anything on it, so it might be a little bit weird. Runner B then would be our blue parts for the hair. Now, Runner A was just marked as Frame Arms Girl Hesfelger, but, so I think that's from the original kit, but this would be new parts specific for this kit as it is marked Bikini Armor version there on the runner. And then a second Runner B, this one again I would say is from the original kit, and that's why we have these parts here, which would have been parts for the body of the original kit here, which would have been in a darker color. I don't remember exactly which color that is in, but now they're in flesh tone, so you have like a kind of flesh tone suit there, like a body suit there for if you wanted to use those, but those again, those are just meant to be extra parts. Basically, just meant to use these little bits here around the, at the top. But then runner C is once again back to a new runner for this kit, as you've got the new parts for the body here in more flesh tone. Runner D is in this nice kind of metallic-y silver gray color, which is pretty cool, it looks nice. Runner E is some joint parts here, molded in a dark gray, slightly brownish color, and then we got two of this E runner. And then Runner F in the same color, some option parts here for the thighs and the arms, whether you want to have those just detail parts or parts to hold option parts there on there on the thighs. So we've got two of this F runner. And then Runner G, some more parts here for the arms and legs, and it looks like this section of the runner is maybe added on new for this kit. It'll be a few more little detail parts on there. Runner H, a few more joint parts here in flesh tone color. Runner I would be our clear blue parts for the blades of the swords as well as a couple of clear blue parts that go around on the body. And then Runner J in this really nice light purple and kind of lavender color here for some of the armor bits. Runner K just a couple more pieces here in white. And finally Runner Q a couple more parts here in that dark brown color here for some joints and that is it. So kind of similar to the Materia or the Innocentia or the Leticia which was also recently released. Uh, this kit is pretty simple but does look really nice, of course. So I'm looking forward to getting this put together, and the really nice thing about these simple ones is that they're really cool if you want, like if you really like just a simple design, you don't really want to add a whole bunch of stuff to it, then you know, you're good to go, you won't have anything left over if you wanted to get like one of the more elaborate ones, but if you keep it simple then you're going to have a lot of this leftover stuff. But if you did want to add a bunch of stuff to it, you can obviously do that with a whole bunch of option parts or using parts from leftover from other different Frame Arms girls or Frame Arms kits. There's always that option if you want to add a bunch more stuff onto it if you want. So as always guys, huge thank you to SA Gundam Store for sponsoring the review. Do check the link to their site down below with their Kotobukiya selection and everything else you can save 10% off using my coupon code there's aqua release 10 so check the link it's in the video description thank you guys for watching leave any questions or comments you have there down in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the review bye bye